in this video, we will continue talking about Live Home 3D, and we're going to see some other important architectural elements in our project. For example, the roofs and how we can manage the building. So we go here in the building properties, we can add stories, we can create multi multiple layers, multiple levels, stories, as we can call it. So uh, I'm going to delete the one that I've created already, so we can recreate them together. And uh, so if you want to create one on top of the existing one, just click on the plus. And this will create a new floor. Or we can just delete. If you want to create one below, you can click on this other plus down here. So this will create something underground. So it's going to be like a basement that you can use and it's, it's um, not going to be visible if you're going to move up. So if I orbit a little bit up in the view, you can see that that's not going to be visible. It's only going to be visible when I'm going to go underground like this. So uh, let me go inside here and you can see I've also added some stairs here, some railings. So we're going to talk about that. We talk about doors and windows in the previous video, I can create curtain walls, different types of windows and doors, glass and uh, entrance walls, garage doors or box, and uh, fencing, etc, etc. So let's take it from here. And just want to start with the basement that I've just created. So uh, let's go back here. We're also going to talk about dormers that you can put when you create the roof. So starting from the top, we're gonna skip the dormers for now. We're gonna go down and down until we find the stairs. So that's the section with all the stairs, different types of stairs. And we're gonna see a couple of examples here. So um, you can see you have closed stairs and then you have like the, the stringer uh, staircase and then also like double stinger so everything it's basically here you can just read the description if you don't see enough you can just increase the size of the pictures here by scrolling this little bar and so the, the main type of stairs are the straight stair and then you have the L shape stair put it like right here and then we have the U-shape stair. So these are the main. And then you have also others like spiral stairs. Okay, so as you can see, I'm starting with a 2D space as usual because I can uh, manage the position better. So I can put here the stair and then I can rotate it. I can hold the shift key to rotate it more precisely and also as usual, we can go here in the properties. So in the properties, you can define better the stairs. So for example, the rotation, or you can flip vertical, horizontal. You can um, completely rotate. Now, if I zoom in, you can see that this arrow represents the going up. So the path to go up so I'm going to start on this floor and then I'm going to exit on the floor above in here. So to see this in 2D, we need to necessarily switch in the building properties and we can move between layers. So this is the ground floor, the main floor. And now you can see that everywhere I created a stair, it just cut an opening. So this is pretty handy. Well, in other software, we can manage the opening, we can create the opening however we want. Here is just done automatically. We can create openings in the floors and add it to this as we did previously for the balcony here. So what I'm going to do is uh, just go back like this and I can go all the way up to see what's happening in here. Now to see this in uh, in the project, let me select something like this uh, object right here. I'm going to go in the 3D 
and 2D visualization, right click, show in 3D, and there you go. Now we are inside the building and we can see this is the spiral stair coming from the basement. And let me move around a little bit so you can see the other openings. That's another opening. Of course, this is wrong because it's just underneath a, a wall and this is another one. So if I slowly move down, you can press the E to go up and the C key to go down and you can orbit around and use the WASD to move around. And you can see all the stairs we put so far. There you go. And essentially they are cutting holes to go up one level. Now, if I'm going to create another level, I cannot do that. I need the progression. I only uh, can use two floors. So if I want to do uh, double um, apartment, I need to delete this other one, the basement floor. And also, let me show you. Uh, so let's delete the basement. Well, actually, before we delete it, I want to show you just a couple of extra things about this. So if I go down, I can see the the basement. And in the, the building properties right here, the little house icon, we can change the foundation height. So foundation now is one meter high, meaning that it's really big or like could be 0 0.3. And the elevation of everything. Now, if I'm to see the elevation, I need to move up like this and I can elevate. So my basement could be like not totally underground, maybe it could be like a little bit outside the terrain so I can see like some small windows in here. Now, of course, we can place with the window as we already know how to do. So we can uh, insert the windows from here or we can just copy the some, some window we like. So Control C, Control V and click and drag in the 3D will position it correctly. Now, since this is a basement, you probably want this window a little bit smaller. So we're going to go here and unlock the aspect ratio 0 0.6 perhaps. So we have usually you have some really small windows in the basement. And again, these are just examples. So we're going to delete this. I'm going to delete the basement. So select the floor you want to delete, press the minus and put this back to 0 0.1, which I believe was the original position or 0 0.05. And let's move up. Let's go and create a new floor. Now, when you create a new floor, uh, sorry, control Z, you can see that it's going to be um, exactly the same of the ground floor. So it's going to be exactly the, the, the walls will be positioning exactly in the same place. So if you want to change that to create like some balconies or something like that, you can just move to the layer. Now you see the layers or stories are pretty well represented here in, in, a, in a preview. So you cannot miss. So this is the, the first floor. I select the first floor and it's going to be visible now also in the 2D space. So let's say I double click, enter this group of walls. And sometimes I need to do it a couple of times. So double click or, you know, triple click this. And if I put this a little bit like back, I create another balcony there on top of the, the garage. Or if I, let me go like into another position. Uh, let me go here. Okay, so this is kind of a pretty small now. So if I push this like this way, I create something that is going to be like um, overhang. If we compare it to what we had before. And I'm kind of going into something that was through TV stick here, but you know, it's just, I'm just creating, I don't really care about the aesthetic. I just want to show you the, the tools, but you know, this is something could be creative uh, to some extent. Um, also, if I push this, I create some really overhanging block. 
Okay, so you can start with the basic floor you have and then you can modify it. That's the bottom line. Maybe also this one. I can push it forward like this or even forward like, like that, creating something you know really big. And now we can take the windows we used uh, on the bottom floor. We can copy and paste them. I can copy and paste that right there just in the 3D and then I can fix the position on the 2D. Maybe I want to align to something or I don't know. So I'm just going to put it there. So let's go here. So I have two windows. For example, uh, let, let's push this a little bit back because maybe it's too much. Okay, so uh, you see here down at the ground floor, I have a couple of windows right there. So Ctrl C, Ctrl V, push them up, and you can see that I can now align them. We, we can see them from there. We can use this to align, or even better when they are totally overlapping. Let me go in this. Um, oh, let's do it with the with the um, door here. So let me copy this window. Control C, Control V, position it right here, and you can see there is a gray um, copy of the underneath floor. So I can see if the elements are aligned. And then I can double check in the 3D if I like the result. Okay, let's also go for this too. So I hold the Shift keys to select both Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and then push them up. Oops, careful. And you can do this with anything. Okay, so uh, uh, be careful on the elevation. Just gonna use this one. And you see there, I can make them perfectly aligned because I can see the the other two on the other floor. Now I want to position another stair. So I want to create a connection between this floor and the one on the on the ground. So again let's go to stairs. And usually stairs, well most of the time stairs they need railings. So you have like different types of stairs also for like roofs or uh, you have like um, escalator and ra with railings, without railings, with different types of railings, etc. etc. So I'm gonna put this like right here and let's right click and go show in 3D so we can see what's happening here. So um, there we go. So this is this there, pretty nice. And it also has railings, so pretty good. This is what you wanna see. Otherwise, you will fall down. But what happens when I come here? You, you can see there are no railings around this hole. So this is something they could like automate in a way. And also, we don't have like a good selection of railings, um, as I understand. So if I look here around, I don't find nothing, you know, like similar to actual railings. So. Um, let me go and uh, just um, use the search. So if I search for railing, you see I only find things that are good for an exterior. So I can put this right here and be careful on where you're putting it. So right now we are putting this on the ground floor. So let me delete this. Or there you go. So now I am in the correct floor and let me apply this right here. Okay, now I just need to fix the position a little bit, but you can see it's right there. This this is the railing, but this is more for exteriors in my opinion. Now with the properties you can always adjust the unlock the the aspect ratio and you can always adjust the width and everything. But that will not come you know, too extraordinary, in my opinion. So I think they, they should add a tool similar like to the wall, when you can create like chain here. For example, in the exterior, we have a balcony. So in this case, it's easier to create a wall and then make it uh, less tall, make it shorter to create a railing 
but what if I want to create a railing like this? Well, in other Beam software, you can do that. In here, you cannot at the moment, but you can do something with the walls, or also you can create something using the um, primitives. So if I delete this, let me show you. I'm gonna go to the shapes, and if I add like a, or even a simple cube, I can then transform this cube to create a railing or a baluster. That's another word you can search for. So again, unlock the aspect ratio, but this time this will not show like uh, too stretched. Will be you know okay. So and then you apply a material, of course, like uh, glass or uh, uh, you know something else. But we're gonna we're gonna check this uh, later. We're gonna talk about materials and also we're gonna talk about the possibility to import because here you have import. You can import from Trimble Warehouse. You can import from a file you have with formats coming from. SketchUp or 3ds Max or Maya, you have FBX, 3ds, DAI, DAE, and um, others, OBJ. So, really popular and commonly used 3D format. And don't forget that you also have a store. So, you have extra stuff in the store. But that's all for premium user. So, uh, let's continue now. So, that's enough about stairs let's talk about roofs so back in the building properties here on the right side and so what we can do is apply a roof or add an auto roof to the current story and that's what is going to happen so no cancel but we cannot create a new above and there you go now we can change using different shapes the one we prefer, the one we think it's good with our idea. You can also change the position, as you can see, of the slopes to better match what you have in mind. Okay, so pretty easy. So I guess I'm going to go for, for this one here. Okay, and this is the, the roof now and you can also mark a story as ground that will change the position of all the other stories you can also change the slab thickness and the height of the, a single story so you can make it four meters or more i'm just going to keep it as it is now uh, to manage the roof we can select the object properties and we can uh, click here, and here you have the different options. For the side of the roof, you can um, increase or decrease these other values like elevation. And here also you have the angle of the slope. And you can move in the different parts of the roof that have been created using these arrows. Can just select also directly so here you can see that by changing the slope you will affect the way this roof will be positioned on top of your uh, house and also thickness of the roof and overhang so if you want to like let me show you here overhang so if you want this to be a little bit longer okay so uh, to finish, we're going to go to the dormers. So, dormers. And now you can add your dormer. We can also see this from the plan view. So, if I go back here and select the, 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 the roof, so I can see the slope. And now let's apply, for example, this one here. That's one. And another one. Etc. Etc. So free. This will be all for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated. If you want, you can join the channel to support us. So thanks for watching, and see you in the next uh, video.